Merry Winter Wish. It was the winter holidays on the island of Sodor. All the engines were excited. That evening, Knapford Station was going to be decorated with lots of winter lights. There were to be red lights, green lights, sparkling lights, and even snowflake lights. Thomas chuffed into Brendam Docks. All the engines were huffing and puffing busily. Salty rolled over. He had some important news. The engines liked important news. A ship will arrive from the mainland. It'll deliver a special winter holiday light for Knapford Station. It will be the biggest light of all. The engines wished with wonder. What's the light called? It is called the Star of Knapford. It's a very special star. If an engine passes by it, they can make a wish. Then maybe, just maybe, their wish will come true. The engines were very excited. They couldn't wait to see the Star of Knapford. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, you must wait here. You will have a special to deliver. Yes, sir. Thomas's axles tingled and trembled. A special was best of all. Thomas watched and waited. Then his special arrived. Shiver me timbers, Thomas. Look at that. Cranky lowered the star of Napford gently onto a flatbed. The stars sparked and sparkled. It looked wonderful. Thomas, you will pull the star of Knapford to Knapford Station. Thomas was excited. He thought his pistons would pop. Bubbling boilers! I can't wait to tell my friends about my special. So Thomas buffered up to the star of Knapford. Then he chuffed cheerfully off to Knapford Station. Thomas puffed proudly to a junction. The star of Knapford shimmered on his flatbed. Then Thomas saw Percy chuff across the bridge above. An idea popped in Thomas's pistons. I'm sure Percy would like to make a wish. Then maybe, just maybe, Percy's wish will come true. Just like Salty said. So Thomas didn't take the track to Napford Station. He puffed quickly to follow Percy. At last, Thomas was side by side with Percy. Percy, Percy, I have the star of Napford on my flatbed. Percy was surprised. Fizzling fire boxes. Are you taking the star to Napford Station? Yes, Percy, after you have made a wish. So Thomas pulled the star alongside Percy. Percy looked at the star. Then he closed his eyes tight. I made a wish. Thank you, Thomas. That made Thomas very happy. Now I must hurry. Next, Thomas saw Henry chuffing cheerfully. I'm sure Henry would like to make a wish. So Thomas wished and whistled away to follow Henry. Thomas raced after Henry, all the way to Tidmiss Sheds. Henry saw the star of Knapford on Thomas's flatbed. His boiler bubbled brightly. Oh, Thomas! You're lucky. Are you taking the star to Knapford? Yes, Henry. After you have made a wish. So Henry closed his eyes. I made my wish. Thank you, Thomas. That made Thomas even more happy. Hooray! I hope all my friends' wishes will come true. Thomas chuffed on to Knapford Station. James puffed quickly past. I'm sure James would like to make a wish. So Thomas raced after James. 
Thomas Chase James all the way up Gordon's Hill. Then there was trouble. Thomas crashed and raced down the hill. Stop, James! Thomas's flatbed jiggled and joggled. The star of Matford wiggled and wobbled. Thomas was worried. Cinders and ashes, this is fast. Thomas applied his brakes. His wheels squawked and squeaked. Sparks flickered and flashed. At last, Thomas screeched to a stop. The star of Matford flew high into the sky. It floated and flickered right over James and Henry and Percy. Then crashed with a crunch and a crack onto the track in front of Thomas. Thomas gasped. The star is broken. Now my friend's wishes might not come true. And it's all my fault. Thomas was upset. How can I get the star to Napford now? Sir Topham Hatt and the other engines will be waiting. Thomas decided to make a wish. Maybe, just maybe, my wish will come true. Thomas closed his eyes. I wish that one of my friends would come to help me. Suddenly, Percy, Henry, and James whooshed towards him. Thomas's wheels wobbled with wonder. We saw the star of Mapford fly high in the sky. Are you all right, Thomas? Thomas looked at his friends. Then he looked at the broken star. I have been a very silly engine. I wanted you all to make wishes, so I didn't go straight to Mapford. I puffed too far and too fast. Please, will you help me? Thomas's friends were happy to help. Percy watched the star. And he fetched workmen to fix it. And Thomas and James found Rod. They huffed him quickly to the star. Soon, the workmen had fixed the star. Rocky lifted it carefully back onto Thomas's flatbed. Thank you all. Now we must hurry to Napford. So, together, the engines wished and they wished across Soda. They arrived just in time. Everyone watched as Rocky put the star of Napford high above the station. Then they clapped and cheered as the star was switched on. It shimmered and shone brightest of all. Thank you, Percy, Henry, Rocky, and James. I'm very lucky to have you all as friends. I'm sorry that your wishes didn't come true. Mine did. I wished that we'd all be together under the star of Knapford. So did I. So did I. Thomas smiled from footplate to fender. His friend's wishes had come true. And that made Thomas happiest of all.